All right, so um, the last thing that we'll do today is actually going to be some, uh, some homework that you'll need to turn in on Wednesday. You're going to have time to work on it today, and then it'll be due uh, Wednesday at the start of the day. What I'm going to give you is um, uh, a storyboard. This sheet, you can take more than one, but you'll all get at least one. A storyboard is basically what I've got up here which is, in this case, eight boxes with some lines below it. These are the various ideas, these are the various shots that you're going to think about when you're going to do your main animation. So your main animation, it's going to be a 30 minute, a 30 second, sorry, 30 second at least animation. And I'll have the details for you, but you're going to make a little animation 30 seconds. So if you plan it first, this is what I want to show first. This is what I want to show second and third. This is a storyboard. We can look up and find plenty of examples online. So animation storyboard example. And there'll be plenty of examples. I saw one from Batman. Let's look at that one. So here is, well, you can see it there. Here's a storyboard for one of the Batman episodes. So there's a shot. Batman and Robin walk into the frame, then they turn to look over here, then they look down there, then they swoop off the canvas, then a different shot of <coughs> sewage. That's what a storyboard is. So guys right there, I'm not done with the lecture yet, please. This is a storyboard where it's giving you ideas of what's going to become animated. This obviously here is a starting point to animate it nice and smooth with the cape swooping and everything and then camera movement or whatever. But this is giving the big idea. This is, this is only six shots of a 30 minute animation. You're gonna need to do at least a 30 second animation. With what I'm about to give you on one sheet, you could accomplish that. And your idea could change, of course. Whatever you create right here doesn't have to be set in stone. But again, you've created characters for topic one. You're going to animate those characters in topic two. And so you're going to make here simple drawings. It could be stick figures. It could be complex. If you look at this one, look at the idea here. There's a character running. What's coming after him is a big ball. There's a shot where the ball is behind the character and the character is running at us. There's a shot where the ball is really high up, getting closer, a side shot of the ball, I guess it's a circular character guy, is about to hit him, hits him. Suspense, is he dead? Then he lifts up the ball, tosses it, or whatever. Plenty of examples. Let's see this one. This one's lots of, lots of shots. Some sort of shot, daylight, sun, a scene, this is the staging part of it. Where is it all taking place? And then some crafts underwater, zoom in to look at one of the crafts that is damaged, and they start to shoot at each other, etc. Really complex. That's another kind of storyboard. Let's see for curiosity animation storyboard examples, Disney. really small, but here's something uh, from Aladdin. Okay, so here's an example. Uh, notice how this is used. We've got the character who looks really duplicitous. The close-up on the lamp. Mysterious shadows, happy So you can make these as complex as you want. You're not going to need to stick with them 100% if you decide to change it while you're doing your animation. But this is what the homework will be for, for Thursday. I'm going to give you these sheets. Wednesday. 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 I teach too many classes. They all melt together. Wednesday. Wednesday morning. 
um, because we're going to have one more lesson on Wednesday and then we're going to have the project. We are going to do at least eight of these and there's also some spot below them for text. You don't have to focus just on graphics, especially if I'm not an artist. I want to do a couple of stick figures and explain what's happening. So think about this. You're going to create your animation 30 seconds long. Can you explain what's going to happen in eight frames? Obviously not enough space to plan the whole thing out. You can take two if you want and explain your animation in 16 shots or at least the eight. I'm going to pass these out. I'll give you at least one right now. If you want more, we can ask. Let me pass out at least one. I've got the digital version of this also in the network folder. There is this graphic called Storyboard, and you can do it digitally. If you don't want to do it on paper, if you want to do it in, in Animate, it's in the network folder. You can import it into a new graphic and do your storyboard digitally. That's fine. You'll still have to print it out. But notice if you go back to the... Uh, if you go back to the... Um, handouts for topic two, I've got a basic storyboard. So if you want a digital version of it, you can print later. I've still got plenty here if you want another printout. But if you want to do it digitally and animate, you can do that. So does that make sense? You're going to make a storyboard. It's going to be due on Wednesday morning. You'll have the rest of the day to work on it and tomorrow. And there's the lab time and all of that. You're going to put your name on it. You're going to explain in general, what your 30 second animation will be. You may want to do a five minute long animation, that's fine. But the minimum is going to be 30 seconds, and all of the rest of the requirements I will give on Wednesday. Any questions? All right, so it'll be lab time to work. You can ask me or Angie, or if any more of our lab techs show up, you can ask us. And that's it for the moment.